All right, here's a drone video of Tract 2 on the Niagara River. We're looking westerly. Uh, that's the river, obviously. The property is on the left. So we've got about 400 feet of river frontage. And now we're facing south to look at the property. Uh, it's uh, The shoreline is a mixture of kind of sand and gravel, um, quite a few trees. And then as we look southerly, we have that big open meadow. Now we're looking to the east. What you see off in the distance is the uh, Ho-Hum campground. This is a, an amazingly popular section of river. Uh, so you've got the campgrounds and outfitters uh, nearby. So the, the big open bottom field, I thought the truck was parked down there, um, but now I don't see it. Awesome, awesome section of water. I mean, you can trout fish right from the property for rainbow and brown trout, and there's the truck. So the truck is parked on the, on the property. We get that big open, beautiful, beautiful bottom meadow. Uh, could be suitable for a, a big garden or possibly for horses. And then as we look southerly, the land rises up and goes all the way to Marigold Drive on the south side. So on the south end, it's got, I believe, about 110 feet of frontage on Marigold. It gets wider as you go northerly toward the river. And when you finally get to the water, it's a little bit over 400 feet. So that's what gives you all that, uh, just an amazing amount of frontage on arguably, you know, the best section of river in the state, but certainly in the top 10, uh, in our minds anyway, to, to have uh, the beautiful water, the area, uh, and then the trout fishing. So even without the trout, you've got good fishing, but to have the, the rainbow and brown trout, because there's a hatchery at Bennett Spring State Park, which is a few miles um, up river. Uh, so very, very limited area where you can actually fish for trout, but this is, this is in there, so that's pretty awesome. So we're flying southerly. Uh, you can see it at the uh, south end of the meadow. Uh, that's one of the uh, road easements. So this, like I said, it does have frontage on Marigold. You'd be welcome to, to uh, put in a, a culvert and an approach and make a trail all the way to the river. But if you don't want to, you don't have to because there's access via the, uh, the road easements at Riverside at the Niangua. So flying southerly directly over the property. Uh, this was logged within the last one to two years. It was not clear cut, um, but they did take the, the larger commercial uh, oak trees, basically. And they didn't do too much cleanup. You'll see some of, some of the limbs and tops and whatnot scattered around. Those could be cleaned up. They could be just left. They could be used for firewood, uh, all that good stuff. So as we get closer to, uh, to Marigold, now that road you see there, that crosses over the, the southern side of the property. And the reason for that easement is between Marigold, well, from Marigold going north, there's actually, look right now at the bottom of the screen, there's a valley there. And it, it's not enormous, but you, you would not be able to drive across it without doing, doing some major dirt work to it. So having that uh, gravel road easement gives you access uh, deeper into the property without having to immediately you know, do a trail or, or anything like that. Okay, so now we're looking westerly. That's Marigold Drive. That open meadow you see off in the distance um, is the Barclay Conservation Area. So that's very close to the property, and that's about 400 acres of land uh, that's open for public use. There's a beautiful drop-off point at the river in the conservation area. If you want to do a fun little, uh, you know, 45-minute float, you can you can uh, put your canoe or kayak in at the conservation area and float right down to your property. You'll pass a couple resorts with uh, some people packed into the sandbar and you can kind of wave as you go to your private 400 feet of frontage. Okay, so looking northerly, Marigold Drive. On the left, well, toward the center of the screen, uh, that's the, the entrance into Riverside at the Nagua. If you go to the right, then that's the road that cuts across kind of the south side of the property. If you go to the left, the way the camera is panning now, you'll cross onto the power line and you'll go down the hill um, to the, the western side of that, that huge bottom field. And that's sort of the way we're flying now. When you get to the bottom, to that open meadow, you would take a right, and that's the road that you would follow um, toward, the, toward the north side of the property, which is what we did when we drove the truck down there for this, this video here. Beautiful, beautiful property. Those little black things you see at the edge of the meadow on the other side, those are uh, those are actually tires that uh, someone is planning to use to construct an earth home. 
which um, the way they're doing it will be within the covenants because it will be on a concrete foundation, etc., etc. So looking across, I believe that's Maggard's campground right there. Now it's on the left, and we're panning more toward uh, the north or northeast. And I think in a moment here we'll actually fly back to the property. This is one of the longest drone videos we had done. The, the drone actually broke it into two separate videos because it didn't want to record <laughs> that long uh, in one video. So it, it put it into two and we have to splice it back together here. I believe what we do is we fly over uh, to the river now and then kind of follow the river right back down to the property. It's just a, a few hundred yards um, from where we are. So you can see some canoes and kayaks out there. The water was fairly clear. Um, generally, it'd be actually a little more clear than this, uh, but it had it had rained a few days earlier. There you can see uh, buses and rafts and and all that stuff right out on that, that gravel bar there. Everybody having a great time. So property covenants are in place at Riverside. Um, no commercial activity, so the next door neighbor can't open up a, a resort or anything like that. Um, anyway, check out the property covenants on the website. Uh, they're not super restrictive if, if you're if you're going to build any type of standard um, home basically that's over 600 square feet you'll be in good shape you can use it for camping a certain percentage of the year you you cannot live on it in an RV or a portable building or anything like that so headed down the river now great fishing we've seen people fishing for trout right there um, I really keep planning on uh, getting a trout rig and going out there, but we just haven't done it yet. If I didn't already mention it several times, this has uh, an immense amount of river frontage, 400 feet of frontage. Uh, <laughs> that's a lot of river frontage. Most tracks that you find on a, on a high quality river like this, um, maybe 50 feet, I mean, maybe 100 feet. If it's 150, they're, they're really bragging about that. And, and this has 400 feet of frontage. It's amazing. Now on the left, I, that might be One-Eyed Willie's campground. I'm not sure about that. Oh, off in the distance on the right, you can see the truck up in the meadow. So we're almost back to the property. On the other side of the river, up on that bluff, uh, there's a, a pretty nice house. So they've got a good view, but like I've said in a couple other videos, uh, they can't get to the water. Or I guess you could get to the water, but it'd be a, a rough fall and you wouldn't get back up again. So truck parked in the meadow, property on the right side of the water. Just a gorgeous section of river, just, I mean, wow. The area itself is great, We're not too far out of Lebanon to the east. Um, Bennett Springs State Park, of course, is uh, just a few miles to the south. And it is stunning out there, so peaceful and private. On the weekends in the in the summer, you're probably going to have uh, uh, some people at those campgrounds. Well, I mean, people use the campgrounds all summer, but the weekends are kind of the hot spots. So if you're into more of a private feel, uh, plan your camping trips for midweek on your property. If you're into socialization, then go for the weekend. Large open meadow on that north side. Just a beautiful tract. I mean, yeah, come check it out. Check out our website at instantacres.com to see if this is still available. Very limited number of these. And this one has some special stuff going on that the other tracts uh, don't have. So really nice property, this tract too. 10.08 acres, direct frontage, 400 plus feet of direct frontage on the Niangua River in Dallas County, Missouri. Really, really nice tract. Now we're just trying to get a, an overview of the area. I mean, that's pure Ozarks. The trees and the, the hills and the haulers and uh, the river running right through the middle. I mean, this is gorgeous. That's why this, that's why this is a popular area. Um, and the trout fishing, obviously. I mean, that's that's a that is certainly a rarity. 
So that's a pretty good shot of the property there. You see the truck in the meadow, river frontage on the right. Uh, follow your eyes to the left up to Marigold. The buildings you see there, that's uh, Ho-Hum Campground. Yep, fantastic. Check instantacres.com uh, to check on the availability. Oh, and there's the phone. That worked out pretty well. Instantacres.com.